Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about metformin. Metformin is one of the most commonly used medications in type 2 diabetes, and it is most commonly the first medication prescribed at diagnosis. Also, metformin is used in a very small proportion of type 1 diabetics, usually many number of years after diagnosis because they too sometimes develop insulin resistance. Metformin works in two different ways. First of all, it reduces the amount of glucose produced in your liver. This leads to a reduced blood glucose level. And secondly, and more importantly, metformin makes your insulin more sensitive in your body. As you can remember, one of the main causes of type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. The biggest benefits of metformin are that it's very cheap and it does not cause weight gain. In fact, it sometimes can cause a little bit of weight loss. As you know, one of the main reasons to get type 2 diabetes is weight gain. And one of the other biggest benefits of metformin is that it does not cause hyperglycemia, so it can be safely used in any age group. The fact that metformin can reduce insulin resistance is one of the reasons why it can sometimes be used in type 1 diabetics who are on big doses of insulin as using metformin will help us reduce the amount of insulin they would require. The most common side effects of metformin are feeling sick, sometimes being sick and also uh, it can cause you to have diarrhea. In some people, it can reduce their appetite and really it also can cause stomach ache. Usually, these uh, side effects settle in two to three weeks' time. One of the ways we try to prevent these side effects from occurring in the first place is by starting metformin gradually. So, we usually ask uh, people to start metformin at 500 milligrams once a day for a couple of weeks and then increase it to two tablets and eventually over about four to five week, weeks we uh, bring it up to the maximum dose of uh, one gram twice a day. If you are admitted to hospital for some reason uh, your doctors might sometimes temporarily stop your metformin and it, it's important that when you restart it again you should gradually uh, restart it and get back to your normal dose over a few weeks. Metformin should not be used in people who have uh, severe kidney failure. So if your EGFR is less than 30, then you should not take uh, metformin. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really believe knowing your medications will help you better control your diabetes. And finally, have you checked your HbA1c in the last three months? If you haven't, you should uh, check it. Thank you.